I'm going to take this. I'm not going to edit it at all. You just get to get that part of it. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, test match between Jason Momoa and Amber Heard. Yo, let me find... <laughs> We find out Jason is throwing a damn trident in a, a DMs. Amber Heard, bro. I feel like Amber Heard is pretty valid. Anyway, uh, Persona 5 Royal. I always want to do some Persona 5 content, and I never did. I owned the game since like the, the first week it came out, uh, back in 2017. And I got Royal uh, pretty early 2020 when it came out. Uh, and I'm just now really getting to the third semester. Um, I think I'm in the home stretch at this point. The game seems to be a lot more linear uh maybe a lack of options put into that i don't know it's a lot of different things but um it's gonna be a little, a little bit more linear than the uh pre the you know, normal persona 5 timeline of the game but anyway um one thing that happens at this point in time is the i think the christmas relationships um i want to check out the christmas relationships let me get my phone so i can have the list out i want to have my phone and one thing about it is I'm also going to look at this game rant, which I think is like comic book rants offshoot. Um, I don't know, this list is really, I looked at some of this list earlier, like a couple weeks ago. It's a really bad list uh, for my t taste, my opinions. Um, so I'll touch on that first and then I'll go into my persona list. Now, this is for heaven. Um... <laughs> There's some ones here that fucking pissed me off. And some of this is obvious. Uh, but after almost 100 hours to complete the main story. Dude, I'm Persona 5 OG. I had, I think I had like 160. But I do a lot of just like letting the damn thing sit there while I'm doing something else. So, you know. Um, what the fuck? Bro, what the hell is this? All right, I'm going to read that later. What the? Bro, why would you do? Oh, my God. There's some fucking creeps out there, bro. Um... Okay, so looks like they updated it for Royal, it appears, so I don't know what this is talking about. Best Futaba, I agree with that. And this game, um, Royal, to this point, uh, I don't think it's going to be many more relationship moments. It might be a Valentine Day one, but um, Futaba is my number one and has been my number one since I got her finished. Um, Kyle Common, I think, was the first one that really just matters that I got finished. Uh, I got Takemi finish before her, but Takemi's voice actress in Royal is, it's just so disconcerting, um, jarring, you know, whatever you want to say. It's, it's not, I mean, the character and the line still function as you would think, but that, that person just does not match that voice actress. I think the actress does a great job of doing what she has to be tasked with, but it just doesn't... Like, it's like if you rewatch um, the Evangelion uh, original dub after watching the Netflix dub, to me, I feel like the lines come off better from Misato Katsuragi's Netflix. <laughs> I mean, it just seems a lot more um, adultish to me. Like, I know she's supposed to be like a basic big-ass kid, but, like, the serious moments hit so much harder with Katsuragi's Netflix voice actress than it does with, uh, I'm going off, off a tangent here, but the, the uh, one from the original dub. I, I just can't, I can't do it. I mean, I watched Netflix one first, as you can probably tell, but capacity. Anyway, Futaba, um, could blend of trauma, great voice actress who came back, obviously. Um, great range of emotions displayed, um, I mean, she comes out of her shell, canonically speaking, as part of the story normally, but uh, she also, I think, does it within the context of the social link. Uh, her Christmas event is fantastic. I loved it. I think she had, she had, I don't want to spoil my list, but she had one of the better ones to me. Um, she just, over. I mean, this, there's no flaws if we talk about the fact that she's like half the protagonist height. You're basically dicking down the uh, teacher, not teacher, but your your senpai. Your sensei? Your sensei? I don't know if Japan calls legal guardian senseis, but your legal guardian, the guy who takes you in and almost looks you like a son by the end of the main story, and the guy who specifically asks you not to get with, you know, his adopted daughter, and you pretty much 
threw that in his face. Um, that's something that, that gets in my brain sometimes. I look at that that uh, storyline. Worse, Ichiko Oya. I believe this is actually ranked from like the actual best and worst in descending order, which is weird because of the way the rankings shake out. Um, but yeah, let's just read just read this. I mean, this actually for all of the Grant Universe's flaws. This is a pretty good summary to summarize Chico Oya. Uh, an unremarkable, remarkable, drunk and bad journalist. Also one of those characters seems way older than the main character. And this, that, that, that little line right there comes back in a very unlikable way which in the future. Although I guess it is honest, even with the characters I do like. As a bad journalist, she only cares for stories that sell rather than stories that are to be told. Alright, come on, man. In her defense, she used to be a better journalist to it. Just an unpopular confidant. Joker is better than somebody else. Do agree with that. As I said, Oya doesn't have a decent story arc that isn't worth uncovering. However, because of the top of the romance, they're simply more likable and appropriate companions. Dude, come on, man. We're all like fucking 18 plus. I mean, I was like underage when I initially played this game. But we're all like, you know, 18 plus playing this damn game at this point. Or at least now I am. Um, what are we talking about? Like... <laughs> All this is fucking inappropriate. All of this. <laughs> we shouldn't be playing this fucking game. Um, best Kasumi Yoshisawa. I have not gotten to the third semester's content. Only know her best will can. How much relationship? Yeah, that's the thing. It's very wholesome. Um, I'm not going to read the second paragraph because I saw it ranked 9 and 10. I'm not past 5 yet. Um, I think I'm on January 6th. Oh, no, 9th. Uh, when I go back into the palace. Um... I agree to this point. I like the costume relationship. I'm not going to grade that one way or the other because I'm just not that deep into it. But I do like how the costume relationship never really delves into just she loves him. You know, even though it's hinted lightly, uh, it's almost like a, a, a character thing, like a um, sensei thing uh, or senpai thing. That, that would have been the best way to, time, best way, uh, to use that. Senpai. There's a senpai thing. Um... And it's it's really great. I love it. Um, it's it's really just amazing. Uh, they're fun together. I wish Kasumi got even more time because she's just such a great part of this. Although they do obviously, I mean, third semester it's her and uh, somebody else. It's time to shine. I really believe I can say that without spoiling. But uh, rank five is great. Uh, Kasumi. I know people are assuming I love Kasumi. I love that pronunciation. Haru Kumara. I'm not I'm not co-signing this one. I don't agree with this one. Um, maybe disappointing. She could have been a later part of that game. Put their romance for me in there. How they missed out. The kind of door went tough all at once. This dude is very, uh, it reminds me of kind of like the, um, you know, like they, not, not like the anime body pillow type, but like you really like holds on that body pillow tightly. Uh, arranged marriage with total jerk. Uh, so the more than a basic plot, I was formerly filming an open for character and trying to the last five character probably to run a little story. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough with Haru, especially the main story. The main story, you just get so little time to really flesh out Haru. Um, you pretty much have to have done your piece and cues to other uh, confidants to get Haru out of the way. And with how you have far fewer social link options. In that, uh, in the the main story, you also have far fewer days in the main story. So, it actually, it's really difficult. I think get a uh, Haru, you know, finished uh, in a in a reasonable manner. And uh, even if you do make an attempt, I mean, she doesn't have the uh, she doesn't have like the the, um, the 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 initial jump there. Like the first few events that make you think, okay, I need to put time into this. I mean. The, the back half of her social link is still really uh, just kind of reinforces some of the things they talked about earlier on, like our relationship with, um, you know, the company, with her uh, arranged husband, all that stuff. Um, but I feel like you really get some payoff in her character. I think it's her character really ever feels like a relationship one to me. Uh, it feels like more of uh, almost a friendship one that kind of, you know, these two people really seem to like each other, so they'll just give it a try type of thing. Um... It feels natural, I guess. I mean, it's really natural progression, but it does not feel at the same time to think that these two people would normally be in a relationship. Like, I feel like there are some confidants that make more sense to be friendships, and hers makes more sense to me to be a friendship one. Um, honestly, I mean, this one I can co-sign a little bit. Uh, Chahaya, 
yeah, you can ignore her. You have to pay a hundred thousand. Um, and the hundred thousand early in that game in Royal or main story is very difficult to get around. In Royal, you can do um, DLC personas, which do help quite significantly, honestly. Um, so otherwise, if you're like fusing a lot, you're bone. I mean, fusing costs money, compendium, all that stuff. Um, she's not plot relevant, I agree. Um, and her plot really is never intriguing. I mean, I, I would say, yeah, she has a lot of memento requests too. I think she has like two or three. I think it's two. Um, I think Futaba has three or so. I mean, that shouldn't be the biggest barrier, but uh, I didn't have a great, I didn't have a ton of fun with her as a, uh, as, as a, as plot line. Um, she wasn't a bad character. I wouldn't say she's one of my favorite. And like, as far as being like the older person's kind of disaffection and being off the, uh, the ideal path of life for an adult, um, Kawakami does that way better, you know? So, I mean, I think I probably would have felt better about her in the main story than I would have about in this one, but either way, she's not one of my favorite. I mean, I, I agree with that to a certain degree. I, I feel like worse is tough, but I feel like I also agree. Just cute, though. I mean, like, as far as a, um, some of her mannerisms and emotions, I mean, towards the back half, especially when she comes more open to the protagonist, starts kind of revealing, you know, what's under there. Eh, it's cute, but yeah, you know. Eh. <laughs> this is better at options. This is what I don't agree with. I hate Makoto. Um, but let's, let's read. This is actually is worth a while reading here. Considered to be a queen by her fans. Yep. Fans who really like her, really like her. Yep. The canonical romance. Yep. Are relatively easy to romance and is critically plot relevant. Yes. Um, the rest of that is just fucking meeting. But uh, while a character is typically composed a little tight, you can see a little more flush and shots out of her life if she is romance. The romancing does help with Makoto. Let me say that. Her social link helps her a ton. Now, one thing I do not like is that if you do her social link, you're not um, a rank five intelligence. She's such a pretentious fucking, like, just, uh, she's just drawn like a pretentious person, uh, which I, she was drawn as one of those before you actually get to meet her, uh, her true sign, I guess, in the uh, her palace or the palace that she correlates with. But, Oh my god, dude. I just, I hate the lines that she gives if you're not ranked five. It's like, you're not smart enough. You fucking stink. You're terrible. You're garbage. You're not smart enough. Come back when you're smarter. It's like, oh my god, dude. Come on. Why, is this, why am I doing this? Um, she has a fun storyline. I think she has actually a pretty good storyline. And uh, it kind of clashes with her uptight nature. They did a good storyline with Makoto. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like how much Makoto's pushed. I mean, there's a canonical romance in every one of these, pretty much. I'm not a big fan of her. You know, I'm not a big fan of Makoto at all. And up until Ketchy comes along, she's a know-it-all, you know, that talks over everybody. And then Ketchy comes along and does the same thing. He's like smarter than her. I think they do a good job of uh, kind of flipping that on his head at a certain point. And I'm trying to avoid spoilers as best I can. I'm sure I've spoiled something at some point, but I'm trying to avoid it to the best of my ability. Um, they do a good job of having flipping. Like, these two are basically... Uh, their intelligence is everything for them. And not only their intelligence, but their cunningness, cleverness, ability to problem solve. So it's cool to have that clash. Uh, it's kind of like you gave, like, Nato Shiragani, kind of a, um, not an antagonist, but the, but uh, an antithesis, I guess, so to speak. Uh, anyway, uh, so Daniel Kawakami, this is the most offensive one. Fantastic character. Has one of the better scenes from the Christmas event. Horrible, 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 horrible. Uh, this romance is actually a little popular, but we're pushing back. Of course, the fucking rant community is pushing back. Day your teacher has some blurry ethics. Ethics that just about every male human being on the planet that was at one point young and had a hot teacher uh, would agree with. It's pretty cool. Uh, and that actually might be a reason why she is popular. Okay, I guess they touched upon that. Uh, like <laughs> like Oya, she is also an older age where the romance feels pretty unbalanced by experiences. I do agree. And that clashing is why it's cool. It's why it's fun. Maybe not cool, but fun. Um, just leveling her, leveling her leveling her up as a combat is a little crazy. Since she works part-time as a mate, you can call her to clean your room. That's just all your danger. That's just awkward. Is it? It's a fan, fucking fantasy is what it is. Nobody does turn level of gut score to call her. Well, the benefits of having 
the icky nature of this room is still persist. Go to hell, rant community. She's so fucking. Listen, I just if I was looking at this from the uh, the Kawakami point of view, it's really weird that like you have to not have to, but you kind of empathize with the um, you know uh, kind of almost shameful. Uh, spiral she kind of fell her found herself in i mean like so it was like a, a you know a streak of bad luck once you become an adult it becomes empath- i'm like my, my words my words what happened to my words empathizable that's what, that's what i that's what i wanted to say was empathizable if you want to know what my brain was thinking and that's not a word um it's easier to empathize with her at that point as an adult but the problem is this game is having me play from the kid perspective and if i was a kid i'd be like why is this woman confiding in me that she has a fucked life? Uh, <laughs> if she was dating an adult and we got this, like, Masada Katsuragi, um, maybe empathize a little bit better. Uh, but, listen, I like I like Kawakami. Kawakami is relatable to me. <laughs> I mean, not maybe the the, the dating a, a 17, 16 year old, you know, and going to his crib routinely, maybe not that part. But, um,. Maybe you know. <laughs> I can't say I relate to that part of it, to be honest with you. But uh Antikamaki lovers. Antikamaki, I believe is less than chips on my top three, uh behind Futaba and uh Kawakami. Am I just romance uh options? The Shiho, Shiho element is great. Um her own trying to come up element is fantastic. Um a little beef with I think what's her name Miwa or or Mia or Mika I think it's Mika um I like that a lot honestly uh she's just just, just and you get to see some real development there she has a lot of trauma that uh that is lying therein that I think you get to kind of kind of pick at a little bit I really love I really love that I really love that part of uh of Takamaki I really do uh that's so that shows something that slash confidant is really just fun it's fun Fuck. That mess could beat my ass right now. That's not... Is that, is that, is that racist? I don't think that's racist. Um, I don't think it's even like slightly racist. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, the Mexican food is beating my ass. The Mexican food that I ingested is beating my ass. Um, anyway, this is a good time. I, I love the comic key. And I don't think she has a a, a blockade that is a confidant... Uh, not confidant. Uh, a mementos request, which is also... Always great. Now this one is going to be controversial because you know, I think it's dependent on when you play as Takamaki or you played with Takamaki. Played with Takamaki? Romance with Takamaki? Developed Takamaki? I don't know. If you never played Royal and you only played the OG, this would be damn sacrilege. I had Takami in my top four minimum in the uh, the original game. But now? Worse is ridiculous that's stupid but but i have my top four now i don't think i would i don't think i would i think i'd have uh oh shit i think i know who they have numbers one number one now that i think about it but i hope that's not who they have number one i just thought about that shit for a second there's only two more options that pass this one and one of them i think is probably their number one because i can't think who else it'd be i also know i don't know who number two is i know who number one probably is but i don't know who number two is um in American culture, what the hell are you talking about? So the older romance trends are a little weird, especially in American culture. Americans fantasize about knocking down their teacher at at. And, and you have you ever been to middle school? Any middle school ever? What the fuck is this dude talking about? If you if you've never been in middle school, maybe this makes sense to you. But like, when the hormones are kicking in, like 13, 14, dude, every person that age has at least a thought about sex at some point i mean every i mean maybe just a lasting you know a fleeting thought but a lot of those thoughts happen to go to the finest woman around them that's not you know somebody that's you know friends or cousins with them um if that teachers are teachers fellow students those are big options and um i know when i was when i was 13 dude i was and that's just 13. Like, this dude's like 17, bro. He's like 17. Like, I mean, this is almost a grown-ass member, if I remember correctly. 
But um, yeah, 16 or 17. I, I forgot which one. But um, dude, saying that's uh, like foreign in American culture is ridiculous. I mean, that's an integral part of American culture is the idea of being with your teachers. So they put her number two. Damn, who do they have number one? Chahaya, they don't, they don't like any of the adult ones, so I know they don't have them out there as an option. I don't even know who else is an option. Makoto, Futaba. It can't be. They've already done on the casting ones. Who who else is left? Am I missing somebody? I, I God, I want to see who number one is now. I, I have to be missing somebody. I don't. I don't. I think it's everybody. Um. Good grief! What a fucking piece of garbage. Uh, dude, this is fucking hate fun. Who the hell wrote this? Is this a chick? Oh, it is. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Damn, I. That makes a lot of sense now, actually. I didn't know there was a fucking chick. Okay, well. That's not me talking down to her because she's a female. It's me understanding that she's not looking at this from a male perspective. She's looking at this as a female that is writing about a male, I guess. Um, I guess how a male should view things. Uh, as you could probably guess, um, not the wave. Uh, <laughs> not the wave at all. Anyway, um, yeah, it makes a lot of things make a lot more sense now that I know that she's a woman. Everyone at work. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I get it. Hafumi is great. Hafumi is like probably my, my number four. Um, he's amazing. I think it's as soon as you like kind of get further out. Um, she is tough. She's honest. Um... It's fun seeing her progression. Her her Christmas scene does a lot for her. And speaking of Christmas scene, I'm just gonna do a separate video because I think it's like 20 minutes in now. Um, and her, her the power they gave her that that comes from masking her out is maybe the best power you get from anybody. At least in terms of battle, um, shit. Oh, I love her a lot, honestly, as a option. <laughs> I like this. This is probably the best thing that Allison did in this entire article. <laughs> Let's go every romance ever. They still want officers since they've been making the game. They've tried it everybody wants. Our players do. I get a cutscene as all the women come over Valentine's Day when it was awkward and hilarious moments of the game. The moment they discover that you've been dating all of them at once is pretty harrowing, following which they beat you up and leave. In terms of consequences, the players should ensure they try to focus on 1% of the five. Alright. I think, I think the scene is more valuable to me than any kind of restorative whatever but i get that uh it'd be cool to have the the one scene only it'd be cool but man i do love <laughs> i do love that little fight scene you get towards the end um right now i think i have one two three four five six seven eight nine so eight out of nine finished um, and to get her for, wait, what the fuck, there's 10, oh, Kasumi, Kasumi's a part of this, this is from the, uh, original game, um, so they rank out, I have to max out, conf, uh, god damn it, uh, Kasumi, and then I have to, um, somehow, some way, muster the desire to finish up, uh, Oya, oh yeah, which is tough, I mean, the only thing they help me at this point, I have nothing else to do, like, I have EY, I think he's ranked 4, I have Sheen, I think he's ranked 2 or 3, and that oil is like ranked six. So until Kasumi opens up, those have been the three I've been trying to wrap up. I don't think I have any trophy shit left to do. So it's been a lot of ranking up uh, the guys I got. I mean, I could, you could feasibly, without a god or anything like that, actually, not even feasibly. Like, one thing I, I did fuck up severely is that I didn't, um, I didn't use uh, Chihaya's ability to just. Cleanse yourself. I'm not Chaya, but uh, Kawakami's ability to get yourself back right in days that you're supposed to be sick or whatever. Um, if I knew about that, I, I probably did at least like four days where I just wasted them because you don't really have that many days you can't go do anything in in this game. But um, I'm done. Um, 28 minutes. Holy shit! I gotta edit this down. Jeez. I hope you enjoy. I should have did this before after eating Mexican, bro.